Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will discuss the intercepts of polynomial functions. Our goal is to determine the x and y intercepts of polynomial functions. Let us begin. An x-intercept is a point on the graph where y is 0. To find the x-intercepts of a polynomial function f of x, set f of x equal 0 and solve for x. A y-intercept is a point on the graph where x is 0. To find the y-intercept of a polynomial function f of x, set x equal 0 and solve for f of x. Let us have some examples. Example number 1, f of x equals quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 1 times quantity 5x minus 2. Since this polynomial function is written in factored form, we can easily determine the x-intercepts. If we set f of x equals 0, we have 0 equals quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 1 times quantity 5x minus 2. Using zero factor property or zero product property, we have x plus 4 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0, and 5x minus 2 equals 0. Let us solve for x. In x plus 4 equals 0, we need to add negative 4 on both sides of the equation. Since 4 plus negative 4 equals 0, then we have x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus negative 4 equals negative 4. The value of x is equal to negative 4. In x minus 1 equals 0, we need to add positive 1 on both sides of the equation. Since negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, then we have x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. The value of x is equal to 1. In 5x minus 2 equals 0, we need to add positive 2 on both sides of the equation. Since negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0, then we have 5x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus 2 equals 2. Next, divide both sides of the equation by 5. 5x divided by 5 is equal to x. On the right side, 2 divided by 5 or 2 over 5 is already expressed in lowest term. The value of x is equal to 2 over 5. The x-intercepts are negative 4, 0. 1, 0, and 2 over 5, 0. Next, let us find y-intercept. Set x equals 0. f of x equals quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 1 times quantity 5x minus 2 becomes f of 0 equals quantity 0 plus 4 times quantity 0 minus 1 times quantity 5 times 0 minus 2. Let us solve. f of 0 equals 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 5 times 0 minus 2 is negative 2. f of 0 equals 4 times negative 1 times negative 2 is equal to positive 8. The y-intercept is 0, 8. Example number 2, f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 12. Since the given function is not written in factored form, let us first express this in factored form. The given function is a quadratic function where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is negative 12. Since a is equal to 1, let us find factors of negative 12 
when added is equal to 4. Factors of negative 12 that we need are negative 2 and positive 6, since negative 2 plus 6 is equal to 4. f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 12 in factored form is f of x equals quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 6. Let us find x intercepts. If we set f of x equals 0, we have 0 equals quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 6. By zero factor property, x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 6 equals 0. Let us solve for x. In x minus 2 equals 0, we need to add positive 2 on both sides of the equation. Since negative 2 plus 2 equals 0, then we have x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus 2 equals 2. The value of x is equal to 2. In x plus 6 equals 0, we need to add negative 6 on both sides of the equation. Since 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 0, then we have x on the left side. On the right side, 0 plus negative 6 equals negative 6. The value of x is equal to negative 6. The x-intercepts are 2, 0 and negative 6, 0. Next, let us find y-intercept. If we set x equals 0, then we have f of 0 equals 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 12. Since 0 squared is equal to 0 and 4 times 0 is equal to 0, f of 0 is equal to negative 12. The y-intercept is 0, negative 12. Last example, y equals x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 20x minus 16. In this example, we will be using rational root theorem or rational zero theorem and synthetic division. To find the x-intercepts, set y equals 0. We have 0 equals x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 20x minus 16. By rational root theorem, the constant term is negative 16 and the leading coefficient is 1. Dividing each factor of negative 16 by each factor of 1, we have positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, positive negative 8, and positive negative 16. These are the possible roots. Now, let us use synthetic division. Let us write the coefficients of the given polynomial function. We will write 0 as the coefficient of the missing term. We have 1, negative 5. Since x squared is missing, we will write 0. And then we have 20 and negative 16. Let us try positive 1 if positive 1 is one of the roots. Let us bring down 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. Negative 5 plus 1 equals negative 4. 1 times negative 4 equals negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 equals negative 4. 1 times negative 4 equals negative 4. 20 plus negative 4 equals 16. 1 times 16 equals 16. Negative 16 plus 16 equals 0. Since the remainder is 0, it means that 1 is one of the roots of the given polynomial. We have x-intercept 1, 0. Next, let us use the coefficients on the third row. We have 1, negative 4, negative 4, and 16. 
This time, let us try positive 2. Bring down 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. Negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2. 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Negative 4 plus negative 4 equals negative 8. 2 times negative 8 equals negative 16. 16 plus negative 16 equals 0. Since the remainder is 0, it means that 2 is one of the roots of the given polynomial. We have another x-intercept, 2, 0. The three coefficients on the third row are the coefficients of the quadratic equation. We have here x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Let us solve for x by factoring. x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 in factored form is quantity x minus 4 times quantity x plus 2 equals 0. By zero factor property, we have x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. Solving for x in x minus 4 equals 0, if we add 4 on both sides, x is equal to 4. Another x-intercept is 4, 0. In x plus 2 equals 0, if we add negative 2 on both sides, x is equal to negative 2. Another x-intercept is negative 2, 0. The x-intercepts are 1, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, and negative 2, 0. Next, let us find y-intercept. If we set x equals 0, then we have y equals 0 raised to 4 minus 5 times 0 cubed plus 20 times 0 minus 16. What is the value of y? The value of y is equal to negative 16. The y-intercept is 0, negative 16. We are done finding the intercepts of polynomial functions. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.